As promised, I want to do a short recording on setting your levels for recording, um, specifically in Reaper in this case. But this principle holds true uh, really in any context. So in setting your recording levels, you're essentially dealing with the Goldilocks problem. You want your levels to be not too soft, or you want the recording not to be too soft, and you want it to be also not too loud. Um, you want it to be just right. So we're going to start off by making a more or less just right recording, because we're already kind of set up for that. So just right, we'll just start right here. We're, we will record enable our track. And then we're going to record some audio. Now, truth be told, the file that you're seeing could be a little bit um, better if I was using an external mic or perhaps um, an external audio interface. I would be able to boost my levels a little bit more. And right now I'm just trying to get closer to the computer so that I can get a little bit um, of a healthier waveform. What I'm looking for here is essentially um, the white or the gray space um, that's left over. Now, so this is a reasonably healthy waveform, and what a reasonably healthy waveform means is that um, you're not going to have a lot of extra unwanted noise. So if you are recording yourself or if you're looking on Freesound and you see something that looks more or less like this, um, that is typically a decent sound file to choose. On the other hand, um, if you were to see a file that was basically invisible, what that would mean, I'm changing my recording levels right now, briefly. What that would mean is that the recording level is uh, too soft, and so the waveform is too soft, and as a result, you're going to get a lot of noise in your recording. So I'll show you what, what I mean. So if you see this, you're basically going to say, well, this is too soft. I need to make it louder. So you go to item, item processing, and you normalize, normalize the items. You'll make them bigger. So now you've got a bigger file, but you'll find um, that you also have a lot more noise in the file. Is that... So it's not actually... Um, well, at least as I'm monitoring right now, it may be different than the recording. It's not um, horrible, but there is more noise. You can hear it, um, especially there, in the background, but then you're gonna have to try to um, edit out, and it's a pain. It's much nicer to just start with a good recording. Now, I said you want it not too soft, like this and you want it not too loud. What happens if it's too loud? Let's try. I'm going to just make a loud sound. And you can see from over here, you have this little red indicator, which means your levels got too hot or too loud. And if you zoom in, you can see that the waveform is actually clipped off, it's cut off. This is called clipping or distortion. It is, you have a distorted waveform um, or audio file. And what that means is um, you've lost important information about the sound. You've tried to record something that is louder than what you are capable of recording. It will be bad for your speakers, it will be bad for your sound quality, it will be bad in general. Um, so if you were to find a file on Freesound that looks like this, or for you to record a sound yourself and it looks like this, 
basically you're going to have to either find a different file or do it over again. It's important to note that even if all of your files um, look nice and decent, something like this, um, or a little bit louder, if you start um, putting them on top of each other, one after another, and essentially mixing, you need to pay attention to your master levels, which will be, um, which you will see over here. Because when you add all of these sounds together, even if none of them is too loud individually, all together they can, um, they can end up being too loud, and so you can trim them. Um, there's different techniques you can use um, to um, avoid that problem, including trimming the master gain. You can talk about um, compression and limiting and these sorts of things in a separate um, tutorial.